Uh, good night, guys. All right, what I'm gonna be showing now is really starting off with um how to produce the roof framing plan manually. On my screen here, I have the floor plan and um, a 3D version of the roof plan that we intend to be drawing in a 2D format. Um, why this is necessary is the mere fact that even if we were to explode the 3D roof, um, the members would still be inclined. So it's relatively difficult to have it flattened back. And so what we're going to do is to draw it manually. To do that, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a layer um, for my roofing members, basically. Alright, so from my layers property, let me just go and create a new one. And I'm going to call this um, roofing members. Um, let's give that a nice color that will show on the screen let's say we go with this bright orange okay line type let it be a continuous type line weight we want it to be dominant so let's go with about a 0.53 uh, let's go with a 0.5 okay let's set that to the current layer and let's get back out of that all right let's drop that to the side all right now what i want to be doing is we want to be outlining the profile of the roof so that we can give it um an offset to do that let us use the polyline and uh, this corner here is obviously this one right here so let's start from this intersection here and i'm going to go around oh let's check my layers ensuring that i'm in the right color all right, so let's go again. Polyline. And let's go around. What I'm doing is to go around the entire building where the pitch roof will sit. All right. All around. Oh, this one should go actually to here. Back down to this intersection. All the way back to here. And to here, that one, across to here. Um, my basic roof shape would be different from the one you are producing based on the fact that I've added bay windows, so it will impact my roof design. So, but the concept would have been the same though. All you do is you pick the corners around, similar to if you were installing the roof in 3D. So we are basically picking those same points as if we were installing the roof in 3D. I'm back to where I started and that's the shape basically of the roof. Now what I want to do is to give this profile an overhang because this orange line here would basically be the exterior edge of the wall as indicated by the dotted line on the 3D model. So um, we want to give it the requisite overhang, which in this case was 450 millimeters. To do that, we do an offset of 450. Enter. We select this profile, which is the polyline, and we click on the outside. Now, that basically represents the eave or the overhang of our pitch roof. Um, there is really no need to keep this line any longer, so we could um, go back in and delete that. We had only put it so as to have the profile to offset from. So what we have now is a basic um, fascia board, so to speak, of the proposed roof. I would recommend at this point, though, that we turn off the wall layer, so you will have clear view of, of just the roof you're working with. So we'll go to our layers manager here and um, we'll turn off the underlying walls which would be a wall a wall where are we a wall so let's turn that feature off by doing that we'll be able to see the roof 
outline a little more clearer. Um, now, to put in the members, basically, um, we just need to identify perhaps just one of the lines that we would need. Take, for example, this intersection here would represent this one. And um, if the lines and the drawing, if they're not perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical, then it means they're basically at an angle of 45 degrees. So all these slope or incline lines are at 45 degrees. We could identify basically that there's going to be one here and another one from this intersection. To do that, what do we do? Let us go and use our line command starting at this point and uh, let's turn our auto off so you want to give it um we're not certain as to what the, the true length of this line is so we would give it an approximate length so let us say at um 1500 for example and we want that at an angle of 45 degrees and we give our enter there we would have had um a portion of the line basically um, drawn at 45 degrees now if we were to say mirror that line so let's go to our mirror command which is in our modify tab so let's go for mirror mirror select the object and our mirror point would have been basically center of this line in a vertical manner so there we would have had basically a portion of this um, hip rafter here. Let's do let's give a fillet command with a radius of zero. Now let us ensure that our radius is set to zero. So hit radius and ensure that it's default to zero. Enter. And we want to fillet this line basically with this line. There we would have had this portion of the roof completed. From here on, it's just basically going to be copy, line, and so on. Take, for example, there is a line running vertically from this point, which happens to be this point. So I go line, and it is running from this point vertically. Um, we're not certain of the distance of that line, however, so let's just freestyle and give it an approximate length. It's really more than we would need, but it's better safe than sorry. Um, from this intersection here, however, we realize that there is a, a valley rafter running. But if you notice, it's at the same angle as the hip. So what we do is to basically copy this feature here, hold it at this point, and paste it at the new location. Again, it gives us this line, quite simple. What needs to be done is a fillet between this line and this line so as to terminate so to do that we give a fillet command ensure that your radius in your command area is default to zero and with that you want to fillet this line really with this line we would have had that terminated at the appropriate length from that point notice again there is a line running at an angle again 45 degrees which happens to appear to be this line so what we do we copy that line so if we were to copy that and paste it here the length might be off but what we basically need is an angle to work with all right so what it's heading in the apparently in the correct um, direction we don't have a true length of that line, so I guess um, we would be stopped here for now. And so we look for other points from which we could continue. If we were to look around, if we were to look around to the master bedroom area, we realize that there are some hips that we perhaps could continue with. Take for example, there are two hips and two valleys here. Let's, if we copy this hip. And paste it in the same location as it's shown on the 3d which happens to be that one then we would basically have gotten this line in to get this one it seems to be in the same direction as this one again so let us go and copy this line holding it at this corner and pasting it at this um, matching corner there seems to be a need for a little fillet so we would do a fillet 
between this line and this line looking more and more like the feature there's a vertical line running from the center point down to the edge of the fascia here which is from this point to this point looking more and more like it copy these two lines copy and what you want to do is you want to copy this line to this point and you want to copy this one holding it here to this point those two lines are supposed to meet so let's give a fillet between this line and this line from that point of intersection there is a vertical line so let's do a line from this point heading vertically again we don't know the length but we see him we seek for um, termination points we there should be a line running from this intersection to show us where the termination point would have been it's a line running at 45 degree in this direction so let's copy that hold it here and paste it in that corner if we do a fillet between this line and this line then both lines will be terminated at the correct spot so fillet this line with this line there should be a little piece of um hip rafter huh? running in this direction so let us copy let's copy any one of those lines let's go for this one holding it in this corner and we paste it here all right the length might be off well will be off but if we realize again it is terminated by a line which comes from this point which in this direction so let's do a copy of this line holding it at this point and you want to paste it at that point again they have overshot so we do a fillet we want to keep this piece and this piece there it goes from that point there is a ridge board there is a ridge board a horizontal ridge board so let's do a line running from this intersection and it is running horizontal again we are not certain of the length just give an approximate length it will be terminated by a line which runs from this point at an angle parallel to this line so let us do a copy of this line hold it at this corner and we will paste it here wherever the two lines intersect then we do a fillet to clean up that intersection so a fillet between this line and this line again we would have had what's happening at this intersection there is a line running in this direction again they are all 45 degrees so let's just copy any line running in that direction could have been either of these two could have been perhaps um, any one of these two all right let's say go for this one hold it here and paste it here it gives us this line but where do we terminate it terminates with a line which runs from this intersection wherever it intersects that line then that would be the point of termination so we copy a line in that general direction say this line and we paste it in that corner all right what we do now is to fillet this line with this line so we do a fillet between this line and this line there we go we have this intersection nicely formed moving on there is a horizontal line which apparently is a ridge board running in this direction again the length is not certain but it is terminated with a line which runs from this intersection towards it so let's copy again let us copy that line and let us put that right there all right to get this intersection again another fillet between this line and this line all right we're now at this intersection which requires a 
little 45 degree line so let's just copy a line again perhaps let's go for this one holding it here and pasted it here fillet between this line and this line there's a vertical ridge board again let's go for that ridge board length is not certain just give a length it will be terminated with a line which comes from this intersection towards it so let us copy a line copy let us copy this line enter holding it here and pasting it here we need to do a fillet between this piece here and this line here so that they can terminate properly this line and this line so as we have this intersection right here there is a line running in this general direction again so let's copy one let's copy perhaps this line and if we hold it here we could just paste it here again the length might be off but it will be terminated with a line which comes from this intersection so let us copy and let us copy this line holding it here and pasting it here again where those two intersect we'll do a fillet radius again is zero we would have this intersection here and to close off that portion of the roof we just put in this one last ridge board here and that portion of the roof would have been complete all right now there is a window there is a portion of the roof which protrudes the bathroom over here and again we do likewise just copy and let us copy in my case i'm going to copy this one holding it here and i'm going to be pasting it here all right i'm going to be copying this one enter and i'm going to be pasting it here let's do a fillet between that and uh, oops wrong fillet let me fix that right up fill it between that and that to oh yo you are messing things up pretty bad let's undo that let's undo that all right let's delete that for good measure and let's go again and copy let us copy this line and put it in that intersection there we go and we want to do a fillet between this line and this piece here we go one line is missing which is a horizontal line that's a piece of ridge board from that point to that point there we will have that and again there is a similar need over this window here so again let us go copy from our modify let us copy perhaps this little one here let's paste it over that window let us copy this one and let us hold it here and paste it here and again the horizontal member the ridge board from this point to center or perpendicular to that point there we would have had the basic um 2d version of the roof if we were if you want now we could um call out back the walls so, so we could see the building sitting on the the roof sitting on the wall so let's go and turn back on our a wall layer a wall here it is a wall so we could um see basically that the roof is actually now sitting on the on the on, on, on the walls all right the remainder of the of the building however will be covered by by slab roof so we could just do, a, do an outline of that really just to show um the, 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 that um where that particular roof will be sitting again it's it, to be easier if we do a profile of that um in in polyline so that it would be easy to offset the cantilever distance 
but we wouldn't want to be doing that on the roofing member layer so let's just go back and turn back on our slab layer let's go and turn back our slab layer um, a slab a roof slab that layer would be called Oops, a roof slab let's go to the a series a roof slab oh here we go all right so let's that let's make that our current layer and do a general layout of the slab using again polyline um the slab is going to be running against this wall or sitting on this wall up to this point so what i'm doing is to generally um perimeter the outer edge because that's all that would be required just the external edge of um the walls really uh where the slab will be sitting where are we now now the slab is going to be stopping somewhere at it's gonna pass that point but i'm not getting a snap all right let's stop it here for now and terminate it somewhere let's terminate here all right now the slab would require an offset or a cantilever of say 300 so let's offset that um, 300 millimeters and let that be the cantilever um, offset for the roof overhang let's turn back the profile off there's no need to keep that so let's delete that we had only drawn that just to have something to offset so here we would have had the profile of the pitched roof and the profile of the slab roof there is also the matter of the veranda so let's also um, polyline that um, so let's do a polyline and again the slab roof will run from here to here to here we just need an external edge just something we could offset our 300 offset in the polyline out 300 we could now delete the existing polyline didn't really want that all right so there we would have had the profile of both roofs the pitch roof and the slab roof um i'm gonna end this video here but um part two of the video will really show um the installation of the rafters the common rafters the hip rafters the common the jack all right so uh, until next video later guys